Hey YouTube, it's me Blake from Beyond Reviews. And yes, it is Shout Out Fridays. That means we're going to be reading the positive, cool, awesome comments that all of you have been leaving in some of our episodes. So thank you so much for doing that. We truly appreciate it. And yes, this is the Shiyun Smooth Q Smartphone 3 Axis Stabilizer. If you want to watch the review and hands-on use of this, stay tuned. That is so smooth. Very smooth. Check it out. And now for Shout Out Fridays. Let's take a look at the comments for the video of reviewing and unboxing the Peacock Smart Body Analyzer. Jack Xiao, amazing. Thanks, Jack. For the vlog number four, Ford Eco Sport Weekend Wellness Drive, we've got Sweet Savy Naomi. Nice place and nice ride. Thank you for commenting, for your nice comments. Sweet Savy, or Sweet Savvy Naomi. Um, thank you for that. Larry Vlogs, I was waiting for the review of the car itself. Haha, <laughs> turned out it was for the Wellness Center. Yes, it was for the. Well, it was for the Ford Philippines um, media drive, and yes, I wish I could have driven the car so I could have reviewed it. Larry again on Spiro's Ultimate Lightning McQueen review and Spidey First Impressions. Yeah, <laughs> Lightning McQueen's my fave. Yeah, he's so cool. Absolutely awesome. Um, let's go to my brothers. Yeah, Clint Sarion, thank you for the vlog uh, number three filmmaking workshop with the awesome people at Got Deals Mobile. Uh, Clint Sarian is my brother and he is an American Ninja Warrior. Check out his uh, his uh, site in the description also. Emil Sarian, thank you my brother. They're all in New York City. And review and unboxing the Peak Cook Smart Body Analyzer. Servoy, thank you once again. Good reviews as always, man. Thank you, thank you. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions for the HoriTech Pro uh, firmware update, even the, the review of it. Um, Tunic was asking if you can use a standard mouse with the HoriTech Pro keyboard. Um, yes, you can. You can use a different mouse. Um, and I've been getting questions also about the update, how to do it, and I was like, go to HoriTech Pro website. I'm kidding. I actually helped them out pointed them to the right um, firmware update. So thank you, you guys can ask me questions and definitely we will reply. And hands and dress uh, for the Peacock. Uh, once again, the Peacock Smart Body Analyzer, he goes, LOL, that weight gain, bro, totally feel it. Yes, but I'm gonna try to get rid of it. Trying to, gonna try to get rid of it. And now, Last one, let's go to vlog number three, filmmaking workshop with awesome people of Got Deals Mobile. Magzi Magbanua, Idol, teach me please. I don't think he's related to Jason Magbanua or else he'll be asking him because uh, he's really great. But Magzi, thanks man for your comment. Let's hang out soon. Also from Dale Wanders for the vlog number four, Ford Echo Sport Music and Motion City Drive. He says, you vlogging just put a seal on my choice to be a vlogger myself. You make us vloggers proud, Blake. Subscribe with cheers. Thank you, Deo Wonders. Mohammed Amrashad, great effort. Thanks a lot. Matt Smello, okay, now that audio is fine. Keep it up, bro. Uh, thank you for your comments. And Think Tank TVPH, that parallax, though. Thank you for your comments. That is our shout out Fridays. And now, for the review of the Smooth Q. And now for the review of the Shiyun Smooth Q 3-axis smartphone stabilizer. So what I've got in front of me is my Extreme Manfrotto mini tripod. The Smooth Q itself and the iPhone 7 Plus. So it's very easy to set up. So you've got the quarter of an inch uh, thread right here so you can mount it on your mini tripod or on your real tripod. And now I'm gonna put it up like that. And just right. And look at this guys. 
there's only one thing that I need to adjust and it's the roll axis. You put your phone all the way to this side. So you make the side with the charging of your phone all the way here. So it does say that the Smooth Q can charge your phone, um, but you can't do it while you are shooting uh, um, horizontally. You can do it while you're shooting vertically. So if you do put it, if you're shooting like that, then it goes to this right here and it can be charging, okay? So um, what we'll do is we'll set it up this way. So all you have to do is like that and push it in. Okay, yep. And make sure it's all the way to the end. And there you go. It's because I did it earlier. So the roll axis, it would be all over here. And if I put it to where it started, it's dropping to this side. So I had to max it out, all the way out, to balance the iPhone 7 Plus. And that's it. You power it up over here, this red button right here. And we're good to go. Now, check out these specs. The Shiyun Smooth Q3 axis smartphone stabilizer can carry a smartphone that weighs up to 7.8 ounce or 220 grams. On the Smooth Q now is the iPhone 7 Plus with a case, which weighs a little over 180 grams. From top to bottom, the Smooth Q is made out of metal at the top and becomes plastic as it gets down to the handle. Phone while shooting vertically, which is definitely needed so you don't have to bring your power bank around. I like this color, the jet black, which matches my phone. But for those who want a different color, you may get the gold, rose gold, and space gray. Also, you can balance it in just one step, which is through the roll axis. You can also shoot up to 12 hours. It has a four-way joystick, power, and mode buttons, and a zoom control switch, which I don't use. There's also a quarter-inch mounting thread, so you can mount it on a tripod or a mini tripod like what we did with ours. You can also use the CY Play to use the different modes like face tracking, take panoramic shots, time lapses, and also shoots in vertical mode by moving it like this. It's a beautiful and windy day here in Manila. And now it's time to put the Shiyun Smooth Q 3 axis smartphone stabilizer through some test shots. So let's power it up. It's this easy, guys. Look. So let's say I'm outside and I'm about to do a vlog. I'm going to press this, power it up. And I like closing the legs there. Turn on my phone, I go on the camera. So video mode, I'm gonna start recording and you can see that Jana is shooting us. So look at that, look at how smooth that is. So just, I'm not even trying, I'm just moving forward and backward. So you can also control it with the joystick. You can tilt up, tilt down, right? And since it's on the first mode, it's locked for your, your pan left and right. Now I'm gonna change the mode, click it once. And now I can turn pan left, pan right. And of course, tilt up and tilt down. Look at that. And it's going all the way around 360. Cool. All right, so as you can see, it's staying <laughs> on lock mode, even though I twist it, it's on lock mode. It doesn't want to go the other way. Press it twice, one, two, and now it's 
panning left and right as well. Okay? It's like free mode, look at that. Look, very nice. So, I wanna show you guys, when you click on the mode three times, watch this, one, two, three. And now, I can start vlogging. Hey, what's up guys, it's me, Blake from Beyond Reviews, and we are here in Manila. Take a look at this view. So I'm not even trying, guys, and I'm just doing this. I'm gonna click on it three times, one more time, and it goes back. Hey, Jana. <laughs> yeah. All right, take a look at this. So you can get some nice shots, like a boom up. To reveal. And one more time. I'm not using the ZY Play. You can use the ZY Play if you want to, but I just really like uh, using the video capability of the iPhone 7 Plus. I like their software and it's my go-to. Okay, so now let's just have fun with it, okay? I'm rolling on my iPhone 7 Plus and John has got the A7S 2 and we are rolling and here we go. And that is the Shiyun Smooth Q 3-axis smartphone stabilizer. So currently right now, the Smooth Q uh, in B&H is about $139. Here in the Philippines, I think it's about what, 8,000 or so. I'm not too sure about the current price. It is a lot cheaper than the DJI Osmo Mobile. I do like this a lot because it's, it's, it's very easy to set up. It's the same as the DJI Osmo Mobile, but the DJI does have a better app than the Shiyun, which is the CY Play. But what I do like about this, well, whenever I use the, either the Shiyun or the DJI, the DJI Osmo Mobile, I don't really use the app. I just turn on my phone, go into the camera, go to video, and I just start shooting from there. If you do need to do panoramic shots or face tracking or um, time lapses, you do have to go to the app. Um, it just takes time getting used to. I know that Shiyun has been upgrading and upgrading their apps, so I think it's gonna keep getting better and better. But definitely, um, when it comes to the price, the entry level, um, the durability, the design, it's so easy to use. Um, I shot the, um, uh, one of my vlogs, the vlog number four, Ford Echo Sport Drive, uh, here in the link and this, I just used this setup and it was so easy to do. I wasn't even trying to be stable and it was very nice. So I, I do recommend this for those who are starting out. The value for your money is very good. Um, the battery lasts a long time. Technology nowadays is making filmmaking a lot easier and more affordable. And that's our review of the Shiyun Smooth Q 3-axis smartphone stabilizer. If you enjoyed that video, please hit the subscribe button, like, and share. And don't forget to leave a comment so we can give you a shout out next Friday. So this is Blake signing out. Stay tuned for more videos. So nice. Very nice. Very smooth. Look at that. So smooth.